One player returns from injury, one player gets injured. Yep, that's exactly what happened in the last game. I returned from injury to help my side beat Herder Berlin by two goals to one, courtesy of the late penalty we got, which was very debatable indeed. But there was some sad news. Thomas Muller did get himself an injury, and he is going to be out for three months. Shouldn't be too significant, but regardless, he can play striker when Bonnie isn't performing. I'm sure Guardiola would use him as an option, as you don't have a really good backup out-and-out -out striker. Regardless, as you can see, we take on Mexico for the first game of today's episode here. Two international friendlies in today's episode. The first one is against Mexico. Our last two games of England resulted in 1-1 draws. So if we're returning back to winning ways here at Wembley and hopefully I'll put in a good performance myself. So Jordan Henderson with his corner. First chance could come here and the Liverpool midfielder whips it into the centre. I'm going to win the header and also score as well and score my first goal for England in quite a few appearances and make it England 1 and Mexico 0 with the first real chance of the game. Henderson whipping the corner into the centre. The goalkeeper comes and gets absolutely nowhere near it. I head it past him inside the near post. The man on the line couldn't react quick enough. I think that was Guardado there and we do make it England 1 and Mexico 0. So Henderson happy to get the assist. I'm happy to get the goal. My first England goal in a while. England 1, Mexico 0. Get in. So giant throw in time. Let's launch the ball in. See if Wayne really can cause a scramble in the area. And it goes to a dangerous position. And the goalkeeper does drop it. And it's going to come to me, I think. Nope, cleared away. Still a chance. Goalkeeper's not set. So I'm going to try and curl it in. And uh, that was not the best of shots. I may have scored one goal, but I'm not going to score an attempt like that. That was very poor. And it's still 1-0. Here's Raul Jimenez for Mexico. He's got lots of space here, the number nine. Pokes it through towards Rios, who shoots it. And Mexico get their first shot on the board just before the halftime mark. But it's not troubling Fraser Forster, and it's still 1-0. And Forster will play it forward towards Richards there on the ground. Well, he might have been giving it straight to the Mexico player, but doesn't. And Delph plays it through towards me down the right-hand side. Lovely through ball. And I'm Raul Moreno, and this is a really good chance for 2-0 here. And I'm going to go for goal myself. Oh, Wow. Wow, what's going on, man? What's going on? This season, I really felt as though I was going to be better in front of goal. I've made a good start. I've scored three goals in all appearances for both club and country. And what kind of shot is that? I do all the hard work and I can't finish it. What shot is that? And still Guzman turning. Nice little ball inside towards Raul Jimenez. Didn't read that one properly. Back out wide towards Guzman. Now towards Guardado. And I'll take that ball off Guardado there. Did read that one properly. And a good chance on the break. I've got the pace on Guardado. And I've got the pace on Moreno as well. And I'm really feeling this. I can see Kane making a run into the box. First time cross. Kane with the first time volley. Straight at the goalkeeper. He had Henderson right next to him there. That was a much, much, much better chance than Kane made of it. He didn't need to strike on the first time volley there. So just under four minutes to go. Mexico still trailing by a goal to nil. As Henderson wins the ball back here and gives it to me. I'll flick it on to Rodwell. Now to Sturridge here. And a possible chance to grab ourselves a second goal that will kill it off. Henderson on the ball. And he's going to play it back to Daniel Sturridge. who has got Henderson back in support. Who holds his run. Still Sturridge. I'll take the ball short there, mate. I can see a man running through out wide. That's a great ball. And Delph should have made it 2-0. That's a great through ball. And Delph really should have finished that one. As I'll concede possession and give it away for a throw to Mexico. What a chance to seal the game, but it's still 1-0. Possibly one final chance for Mexico in stoppage time. Raul Jimenez pokes it through, cleared away, stones to me, easy as you like, pass it through to Rodwell. That's a poor pass by Rodwell though, and it's cut up by Mexico. And what a great chance here for them to equalise, and Corona's on the ball inside the area. Corona forced wide, tries to cross it, and it's turned in in the centre by Lozano in stoppage time. And once again with England, we are going to fail to win the game, and we're going to draw it one goal each. What a terrible ball from Rodwell, what on earth was he doing? Gives it away, I couldn't win it in the air it's crossed into Lozano and Mexico equalize in stoppage time this game was so comfortable Delph had a chance to seal it and make it 2-0 and he hit the post what is Rodwell doing there I was not calling for it there is no need for that and Mexico are going to grab themselves well, obviously not a point there's nothing at stake here but anyway they're going to grab the draw and that is just needless because that's the last attack of the game that is just very very silly indeed and of course the friendlies like they don't mean too much in terms of the result and anything I'm glad to have scored in the game I thought I played quite well but either way that is just a silly silly error from Jack Rodwell there and that costs us what should have been should have been a win either way final score 1-1 Lozano stoppage time equalised for Mexico make sure we don't get the win come the end of the game I got a 7.2 which I thought was quite harsh to be honest yes I misplaced quite a few passes but 
I won the ball back in that game low to my team. And of course, I did get our only goal of the game as well. Really felt as though we should have won the game. We had the chances, but just couldn't seal it. And sadly, a big mistake at the end sees us, sadly, only get the draw. Regardless, international friendlies, not too important. Still want to win them, of course. But either way, at least I played quite well. And uh, hopefully, I'll take that momentum going into the second international friendly. It was against Czech Republic, which I think I should play. So let's have a quick look. Let's simulate. See if I'm going to play the game against Czech Republic. Pretty sure I will. Yes, I will. So hopefully, I'll play well in this game too and keep Roy Hodgson thinking and maybe I will actually get to play in the World Cup come the end of the season. Of course, I'm pleased to score for my country. It's my first goal in quite a few appearances, but either way, we should have won that game. And Jack Rodwell's mistake late on does come back to bite us in the backside. I won't take any responsibility for it whatsoever. Usually, I would take some kind of responsibility if I was sort of involved, but I did not call for that pass. Rodwell could have given it to someone else or just booted it forward. And in the end, he put me in a lot of trouble and I couldn't win the ball in the air. Regards, we take on Czech Republic for the second of time game of today's episode here. Another international friendly, another one being played at Wembley hopefully we'll return to winning ways in this game and once again I'll put in another good performance. So our last three appearances with England have seen us draw each game 1-1. One, one. So coming into this fourth one I feel we have to win it to be honest. Yes it's a friendly but either way need some confidence back with the national side as Delph gets on the ball. First chance could come here. Rooney on the ball. Good chance here for Rooney. Down the right hand side. Still Rooney. Still Rooney. Still Rooney. And he fires it wide at the post in the first chance almost. Saw the net bulging. It did bulge but the shot went into the side netting. So still 0-0 with -nil the first chance falling early on. Here's Dokal back towards Moravec, and I'll try and win it, but he plays that wide towards the number 23, and again, I'll try and win it, but again, can't do so, and Czech Republic trying to build a chance here, and they'll get one as Nessie goes for goal, and Forster turns it behind for a corner, so uh, second chance of the game, falling to your wayside there, good strike, good clean connection, but Forster makes the save. Here's Rooney on the ball. Uh, Rooney can give it back to me if you want there. There we go. Thank you. We'll see Kane making a run forward. And I'll try and beat one man and poke it through towards Harry Kane. It comes to him eventually. Kane shoots. Puts it wide at the post and behind. It's your ball, Henderson. You can take that, mate, and give it back to me. Thank you very much. And a good chance here on the break. I'm round one. I can see Kane down the left-hand side. And this is a good chance here for Kane to do something. Kane down the left-hand side. Why is he going towards the corner flag there? What's he doing? Well, what's he actually do? Why would you do that? Okay, well, now goes the crossing. Oh, my goodness. And the goalkeeper almost spills it. It'll fall to Rooney. Rooney shoots, blocks. It could fall to me. Still a chance for me. And I've scored. And it's 1-0 in the 64th minute. Harry Kane, can I just apologise? Because, yeah, you knew what you were doing after all. I was going to say, why would he run to the corner flag there when he could have cut inside? Okay, maybe you got a bit fortunate. But either way, he knew what he was doing. The goalkeeper spills it. It falls to me at the far post. My first shot, I couldn't get onto the ball as the Czech Republic got a nick on it but as it fell back to me I took a touch and I was sort of off balance really didn't really mean to do that in all honesty but the most important thing is the ball finds the back of the net I stroke it into the bottom corner it's England 1 Czech Republic 0 and we finally have the lead in what has been a very very tedious game England 1 Czech Republic 0 two goals in two games for me and uh, finally the deadlock has been broken Oh, my ball, my ball right there. Easy, easy, easy. Rooney, make the right run, mate. Make the right run. It's going to come to you. You should make it 2-0, and you do, and that should be the game sealed. So we've had three consecutive draws of England, but Wayne Rooney has surely now scored the goal that will win it for us and seal the win. So England 2, Czech Republic 0. Once I won the ball back there, we had Sturridge running through, and, of course, Rooney, the goal scorer, running through. I couldn't mess it up. Simple ball over the top, and Wayne Rooney let it drop before banging it in on the half volley. So good finish there by Rooney. England 2, Czech Republic 0, and hopefully now, touch wood, we'll be getting our first win with England in quite a few games. Really nice finish there. Good to get an assist as well to add to my goal too. Pretty good couple of games for me for England, and it's England 2, Czech Republic 0. It's Sturridge for England. A great chance on the break here. I can see Welbeck making a run through. And I try and play it back out wide towards Sturridge here. Really good chance. Not going to sprint into the box. So I'm almost out of stamina. But Sturridge is on the ball. He'll float it to the far post. Welbeck goes to the header. It's cleared away. Only as far as me. Nice piece of skill. And off the post. And the Czech Republic should get the ball away. So close to my third goal in two games for England. But the woodwork prevents me. And there is the final whistle, England 2, Czech Republic 0. We win at the fourth time of asking, we get the win with England. Again, international friendlies, the result isn't actually too important, as I will say in player career mode, because I'm more fussed about what I'm doing with my own player. But either way, we get the win, and I'm really, really pleased with that as well. I got the first goal of the game, and I set up Wayne Rooney for the second goal of the game. Both performances of England in these two games here, I felt I've played really, really well indeed. A 9.3 rating. Once again, my passing wasn't immaculate. I have let the ball slip 
slip a little bit sometimes. And how on earth did I lose 13 headers in one game and not win a single one? That's pretty poor. I need to start jumping a little bit higher. But either way, we won the game and uh, I also got 9.3. So I did what I need to do, helped the team win and also put in a good shift myself. But regardless, guys, that does it in the episode. So thank you very much for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of My Player, then please do leave a like. It's much appreciated and it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of My Player very soon.